What you going to do? I have this cute little wolf. Well, wolf. Not really a wolf. A ski. Same difference though, right? So I'm doing this part and then Freddy's doing this part. And Which part's Freddy doing? Pardon? The teleport kid is doing. He's doing that, yeah. So I'm going first and then we're going afterwards. We are doing a, it's kind of like a three quarter sleeve. On, it's basically just David Bowie themed. It was all to do with the Let's Dance album, but he just kind of let me roll from there. He said, as long as it's got something to do with Let's Dance, you can do whatever you want with it. So just kind of blended it all together so it still looks like a cool tattoo without just being like, David Bowie, do you know what I mean? It's like, nice, looks awesome. Yeah. So the basic idea of this here, so we've got the cherry blossoms um, come around here, the roots of the tree go right into his arm at the bottom. We've got the Bushido kanji symbols, and then obviously we've got the phoenix up here, which we're working on today. I mean, I mean what, what, what does this mean to you, really, the roots? Because you had a deep meaningful thing with that, didn't you? Yeah, yeah, so, so for me, the, the tree and the roots, particularly in the trunk, this is your kind of family and, and the friends that are, you know, so close that they are your family. Um, and the overall design, you know, with the cherry blossoms, uh, again, is quite Japanese, but it, it, they symbolize the, the beauty and the fragility of life. Um, <clears throat> and obviously in life, things happen, so you, know, you go through stuff and, and, you know, if you're lucky, you can come through those things with, you know, with the support of your friends and family, you can come through stuff, maybe stronger, kind of, kind of come back again. So that's the idea of the phoenix almost coming through the, flames, the rebirth yeah. of that kind yeah, of thing. Yeah, definitely. And then <clears throat> for me, the Bushido, again, if you're into your martial arts or it's just a code, it's, you know, that you stand for something and you, you try to behave a certain way and it all just kind of ties into that, you know, trying to, trying to be the person you, you want to be and just making it through, through the good times and bad times and everything else, really. And it looks good as well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, man. <laughs> I've been having laser on uh, an existing tattoo that I've got which was in memory of my mum and in the Chinese writing it did say mum forever in my heart but it was years ago she's been gone about 16 years now and so it was one of them tattoos where you literally sort of go in and pick it and say I'll have one of them so I've been looking at the kind of art that is tattoos now and decided that I wanted something nicer done so I've had um, four laser sessions, I think, on it, just to dull it down a bit. And I'm also having, I'm having it covered with flowers that Freddie's going to be doing. And then Adele's doing the dog. Um, I've got two huskies, and one of them has recently been diagnosed with cancer. And so I thought I would have his picture on it. He's fine at the moment, so don't worry, he's fine at the moment. But I thought I would have his picture on it as well. So Adele's doing the black and white husky side of it today. And then in a couple of weeks time, Freddie will be going over the flowers um, and doing that part of it, doing some roses that will come up onto my shoulder and uh, cover up the old tattoo and it's gonna look fabulous.
So I'm really glad you just asked what I do in my spare time. Um, to cut a long story short, I find roadkill. If it's too big, then I cut its head off at the side of the road and I bring it home and I clean its skulls. And if it's not, then I just take the whole thing. I just bag it up, take it with me. Yeah, and I just tie, I just clean it up. And here are some examples. Um, what are they? This is a fox. And this is a deer. Um, you would sell it, but it might be too dear for somebody to afford. <laughs> I see what you did there.